Welcome to my YouTube channel and the continue of the journey with the Asus N100 Mini PC. Um, we tested some real world gaming and the PC was capable to do that. So we now uh, start a journey in direction music creation. I don't know if the PC is enough for that. So I decided to go with a freeware software mostly and I have found this wonderful site you see here. They have lots of links to free software in the categories um, After Effects, Effects, um, Synthesizer and uh, DAOW um, host software. Yeah, and I decided to go with a non free thing um, software. It's Ableton. Um, I guess everybody has heard of it before. Um, it's a version Ableton Live Lite. Uh, actual version 11 and this is yeah not free it is normally bundled with hardware so with a keyboard or a midi controller range price range 60 to 100 euros you get Ableton Live for free and um, yeah um, I decided to take this one um, because I know it a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, overall said I'm not experienced in music making. And you see here the installation. You just download the massive uh, 3 gigabyte file, unzip it and then click on the X uh, file to install it. And it takes some while to install it, um, so I guess I will forward it a little bit so that you are not bored. <coughs> With Ableton, um, you have uh, this um, hardware bundled license. Um, I don't know if you get it for, for, uh, for one or two euros on eBay uh, or five euros. I have never looked for that. Um, but maybe if you know somebody who has bought two or more um, music devices, he will have one of these licenses lying around unused and <coughs> maybe you can get it from him. <laughs> from me, I have it also before by hardware and have now bought an um, Akai Launchpad Mark II Mini. Um, there was also a license bundled and I will not use it here in the tutorial. I, live, uh, I will use my farmer redeemed license and yeah the license is free and we can make a giveaway i would say every comment until uh, 7th of november who has the sentence in it uh, i want ableton live light um, um, we'll get it if it's one person, if it's more than one person, we must make some kind of a lottery. But um, yeah, I will give this license um, to one person. So yeah, after installation, I delete uh, the files <coughs> to free up some space. You know, I just have two, uh, two terabytes and yeah, I going on and on with installations of things and uh, everything took up space and my OneDrive is also very big. So, yeah. Creating a, a link. I like this way on the desktop, all my things. You see my desktop, it's full. 
so I make also a desktop link for Ableton and we can start it for the first time yeah initial loading first time it took more time than the second loading because you need to prepare I don't know his, his folders his libraries uh, you should give him internet access for the licensing process you see there authorize on ableton.com a window opens in the web browser and here you must normally register and gave in the code um, I decided uh, just to go with a login way and use my um, former redeemed license and yeah the nice thing on uh, Ableton uh, Live Lite is you don't need to pay for the newer version you get the newer version for free and also you have not the two activation activations limit normally the full uh, life you can activate on two computers in parallel and this one you can activate on this, uh, how many you want yeah and here you see the pop-up after the login um, this opens then um, the Ableton program and uh, the web browser gave the information to the Ableton program and you see I have authorized it and now I can use the full light <laughs> functions and here's the email uh, that I really got it and yeah he's doing some, some core library scanning let's wait for it until it's there that we can perform a little step to switch it in English As you see the, the mouse pointer is spinning that's uh, I think the low processing power of the N100 but uh, here it is just waiting a little bit longer and then you can go to options and um, yeah in the downers you have the settings and can there switch the language from in Ableton to every language you want I need to restart the program to take effect and yeah now it should start up quicker yeah that's that's definitely faster and that's definitely English very good so we can close that for the moment and going back here to the list with uh, I call it the goodies And what I really want to install is native instruments, the contact player, um, not only the contact player, um, the complete start software. The complete starts includes the contact player and includes the guitar player and some other small synthesizers and a huge 
sample library, I guess around six gigabytes. And um, yeah, I, I think this software alone then, together with uh, built-in uh, Ableton uh, samples and synths and effects, um, will give us a good starting point. But I picked also a few synthesizer and a few effects um, out um, that we also want to install um, to have yeah a little bit more var variety. I don't know if we can really use everything. We will see. But at the at the beginning we will install Audacity. Uh, Audacity is the software I uh, just recorded my uh, recording my, my voice with. It's a wave edi editor, and yeah, it's really good open source one. Short program. Highly recommend to install this if you do something with audio. And um, yeah, maybe we need it. I don't know. I'm not really sure if we want to um, edit some samples, but if we want, we can. The yeah, installation is quick. I set it to English and yeah. nothing special, create a desktop shortcut is good and install it, that's it. Yeah, it's just a Audacity window in the gray part is normally the um, sample the, uh, uh, which you can edit then and yeah, nothing special but really good. So arrange that a little bit, finding the right software. Here's my list, which we now will go to the next step, and next step is really Ableton. No, next step is no way. No, native instruments. Yes, now I have it. <laughs> Next step is native in instrument. Next stop, native instruments. And keep in mind, not the contact player only. We want the complete start. And therefore, yeah, here is a player in the list. And here a link. Oh, that's a link to free contact libraries. Oh, this is a website I haven't seen before. Nice, there you can download free extra content for contact. <coughs> we will visit this site maybe later in this video series. But here is the native instrument site. the contact downloads and on the bottom here the complete start download. We go with this and just click on free download. Here you, you are now asked to create an account, but account is no problem, you just have to t 
type in your first and last name and the email address and choose a password, eight digits minimum, that you for sure need to accept the end user license and yeah, that's in total everything you need to do. I blanked out the data because I think this is fine for you and you know why. So password creation is, is the hardest to have something what you can remember and here create Now we just click on get complete start and we have it. It is now in native access. Native access is a download tool from native instruments. Well, we will install that and log into this native access and then we can um, from there install the parts of complete start. Down there is also a quick start guide, <coughs> but you I hear or I'm here for not using manuals, <laughs> just trying out. So I hope you uh, will go with me on this journey of trying it out. So this is the next one, this is a sampler software, I think maybe we can use this, so I will download it. consider to <laughs> switch out the pop-up. Uh, uh, on the down you have the Windows X64 version. This one we take. And next one on my list is Search. That's an open source synthesizer. Um, it's hosted on GitHub. Just follow the link and there it is. for Windows and yeah, I'm just collecting the things I want. Now it's downloading and here is the next one, Odin. Oh, Odin 2. <laughs> and you find there the Windows download here on the left side. Just download it and we are fine. And now we want uh, Tyrell 6 
Tile 6 is hosted. I guess it was some project together with Amazona, not Amazon, Amazona. Um, that's a German website um, for reviews uh, of music gear and tutorials and so on. So if you don't know this site, I can recommend it. Yeah, here you see Tyrell. Available from Amazona.de. Yeah. So let's go. This is a website I, I, I talked about before. One of the best music websites, and here you can download the Windows version for free. thing I want to go with uh, some effects. This here is a bundle of uh, I don't know how many 20 effects which can be used free. It's a bit tricky to install because uh, you don't want the, the pay version for now. If you like the version for sure you can buy it later. But for now, I just want to go with the free version for our first steps. I, I'm not really sure if the effects which are in Ableton Live Lite originally in are enough or not. If not, we have here something or what we can use. 